Today I'm going to show you how to make a dry point etching with graphics monoprint plates, which are um, plastic film. The one I'm using is 9 by 12 inches and comes in a pack of three. And we're going to be using needlepoint tools to carve into the plastic. And then we will um, add ink, wipe the ink away, and make a print of our design. You can see here that I've got a pencil sketch which I'm going to be using to trace as I carve into the plastic um, and that'll let me know where I should be carving so I'm not kind of deciding as I carve. So to get started I taped down my pencil sketch and my mono print plate to make sure they don't move around while I'm trying to carve into them. So this is the needlepoint tool and I'm just going to press firmly as I trace this whole design. So everywhere that I carve with this needle tool is going to be where the ink is. I'm going to wipe away the rest of the plate and that will be clean. So if I want an area darker, like if some of the petals are overlapping, I can do little crosshatch marks to make it seem like it's uh, darker or in the shadow. this foil tray to soak my paper and I'm pulling them out of the water and I'm just going to blot them between these pieces of felt but you can use paper towels or towels or any you don't need a special tray you can use any dish in your kitchen that's big enough for the size of paper that you want to use. I soaked a mixed media paper and a watercolor paper just kind of different thicknesses and different tooths in case I wanted to try um, my, my print on two different types of paper. There is also a printmaking paper that you can purchase that's specially for printmaking. So I've used um, Speedball block printing ink that's water soluble. I used red, pink, and white to make this um, kind of pretty coral color. These were hot, like hot pink cone flowers, so I wanted to do something in a similar color. I've just stirred them together and I'm going to use a scrap of matte board um, to scrape it along my plastic so that I can get it into the grooves that I carved. pieces of paper that I've been soaking um, directly on this and press hard with a brayer so that will hopefully make a print 